Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jordan and this is The Physical Performance Coach. And today we're gonna to talk about something really close to my heart and that is, is strength training important in football? Okay, so we're gonna look at what do we actually mean by strength? Why is it important and how can we improve it? So catch me in the main part of the video where we're gonna go over those topics. Okay, so first off, what do we actually mean by strength? Because strength will mean different things to different people. And some people will think that by being strong as a footballer, you need to look like a bodybuilder or a Dharma Traore or Adebayo Akinfenwa. And in most cases, that's just not true. If you actually look at most footballers around the world, most of them do not look like bodybuilders, okay? And I think the confusion has come from things like FIFA, where players are associated with strength stat, and the players like Adama Traore and Adebayo Akinfenwa are really, really strong on that stat, and they're really difficult to knock off the ball, they're really good in body-to-body -body contact. And while that is an important factor of the game, strength also makes up many, many different factors, such as being able to prevent injuries, can you equip yourself well to deal with injuries if you are over injured, can you recover quicker? Can you be really quick over the pitch for 90 minutes? Can you accelerate? Can you decelerate? Can you jump powerfully, but can you land safely? So you can tell there's loads of different things that strength makes up in football. So in the next section, I'm gonna go over why strength is important in each one of those different sections. And then we're gonna talk about how we can try and improve our strength on the pitch. See you in the next section. Okay, so why is strength important? Well, there's many different factors which make up strength. So they can be things like jumping and landing, accelerating, decelerating, changing direction, sprinting, sprinting really fast, preventing injuries, and dealing with any injuries if they crop up. What we need to think about is a common denominator which works across all of those factors, and that is the strength of our muscles, or more importantly, the ability for our muscles to produce force and use force, because that's essentially what's happening. If our muscles can produce lots and lots of force, what they're gonna be able to do is jump really high and sprint really quick. So that's what we're trying to do. So how do we do that? Well, that is strength training, and that is why clubs around the world employ strength and conditioning coaches like myself to make sure our athletes are getting stronger. So what is strength training? Well, that is the big question, and that's a really, really big topic. And I'm gonna break down little bits of it to try and make it a bit more understandable, and we'll go over that in the next section. So catch me there. Okay, so what is strength training then? Well, that is a very, very big question in itself. But essentially what we're trying to do is get players to produce and use force more quickly, more efficiently, and more consistently on the pitch, day in, day out, in training and in games. Now, how we do that, that's through consistent hard work in the gym and on the pitch. We use things like dumbbells, we use weights, we use exercise machines, we use resistance bands, we use body weight through loads of different types of exercises. And all we're trying to do is improve the body's ability to deal with the demands of the sport. But not only deal with the demands of the sport, start to thrive on the pitch as well. So if you hadn't by now, hopefully you're starting to realise that strength training is really, really important in football. And if you're a footballer and you hadn't really considered that strength training is important, now is the time to change your mind. And the final part of the video, I'm gonna go over something we haven't really touched on yet, and that is injuries, a massive, massive part of football, and something which strength training can really, really help and try and reduce. So, catch me in the final part of the video where we'll go over that. See you there. Okay, so hopefully by now you've realized that strength training is really, really important for football. And one of strength training's biggest benefits is that it can really reduce your risk of injury. And that is because strength training improves our muscles' ability to produce and use force. And that use force is one of the biggest parts of that, okay? If we think about jumping and landing, for example, if I'm landing on one leg, my leg has to go through a lot of hard work to use that force and absorb that force upon landing. Now, if our muscles are not strong enough to deal with that impact, it can lead to injuries. And sprinting is another great example of this. Sprinting really fast for long durations puts a lot of strain on the hamstrings. So the stronger your hamstrings and the better they are at producing and using force, the better equipped they are to deal with those forces and the lesser chance you have of getting injured. So that is why strength training is so important. 
Okay, so to wrap the whole video up, we know strength training is really, really important in football. It's really good at reducing the rate of injuries and also really important in helping us do all the other important things on the pitch as well. So if you weren't thinking of doing any strength training, if you hadn't done any before, now is a good time to change your mind and look into doing it. If you need any more advice on this topic, my contact details are all up there. You can just get in touch with me. I will always try and help. But that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.